What's up guys? I have a new theme on my Nexus 4 that I want to show off. It's actually kind of late at night and I am filming this at my house so I apologize for the echo. This was based off the Ubuntu phone that I saw over at CES. So I wanted to do something similar but on Android of course. Uh, one of the things that made Ubuntu really unique was their user interface. It was really friendly and I really liked that style. So I'm going to show you guys my new theme and of course do not worry I am going to show you guys how to do this theme in a couple of days. I'm going to do a how-to video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is the lock screen. As you can see, I have zero messages received. This is kind of a very intelligent uh, lock screen. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to just turn it off right now. I'm going to send myself a text message using a different phone. So I'll be getting it in about a couple of seconds here. We'll hear it ring. There it goes. So now you'll notice that when I turn the phone on, it will now say one message received, which is really neat. I'm not having even unlocked the phone and I know that there's a message. All I have to do is push on this and it'll take me to my text messages. As you can see, I'm using my wife's phone. It says demo. All I have to do is just go back. Now, because I didn't open it, it'll still save it as one message received. So it's a very intelligent system. When I do my how-to video, I'll show you guys how to do that and how to incorporate other different types of messaging systems. One of the things that I did add that was a little bit different was this unlock uh, swipe, swipe to unlock. I wanted to keep it traditional, you know, Android. I know the Ubuntu was a little different and you guys can change it up when I do my video. However, I did get rid of all of these soft keys. I wanted to keep it clean, especially on the lock screen. That was really important. But if you notice, there is a circle down here that allows me to go to Google Now. So without unlocking the uh, device, and this is normal, this is part of Jelly Bean. So let's go ahead and unlock the phone and show you this awesome theme. First thing you'll notice is that this is the home screen. Now everything is dynamic. And what I mean by that is that you can move just about, actually you can move everything from the screen. There's no background trickery here. So for example, if I wanted to change frequently used apps to just my favorite apps, just load up, it's an ultimate uh, UCCW. I'm gonna select my static text. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my text and I can change it to favorite apps, okay? show you really quick here. I know I should be using swipe, but I'm not. Go ahead and change that. Go back. Easy peasy. Favorite apps. Everything can be switched. I can move the home to the center. Show you guys really quick. I'm going to move it over here to the center a little bit. Now it's not all, all the way to the left. All of these apps can be moved. They're not something that I'm doing with invisible trickery here. So this is something that's really neat. My news feed works. I'm going to go ahead and tap down and you can see it dynamically or not dynamically but it automatically uh, moves up now you're probably probably wondering where is my bottom well guess what show you really quick look at that my favorite apps sort of <laughs> anyhow this is uh, very similar to Ubuntu so that is something that I wanted to incorporate was their uh, swipe style to the left I thought this was really neat and uh, this is TSF Launcher, by the way, because I know a lot of people are going to be asking. So if I wanted to add more, if I wanted to, you know, for example, let me add more apps, just to show you how everything is just dynamic, go ahead and do applications. Go ahead and add two more apps up here. Go back. Now I'm just going to double click here. Oops, wrong one. Double click over here. My lasso mode should be on. I'm going to go ahead and lasso all of my apps together. Bam, bam. Oops, I forgot my AirDroid. It's okay and rearrange them. Now I have four. Let me go ahead and do that again. Sorry about that. Go ahead and make sure I select all of them. There we go. Now I have four. So you can see how cool and easy it is to just tweak the theme. There we go. Easy as pie. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Multimedia. So these are my pictures. Once again, everything is dynamic. Okay. If I push here, they, one of the things that Ubuntu had was a really neat gallery system. And this is part of TSF Launcher, which also has a really neat gallery system. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick, uh, let's just say this picture here. Actually, let me just go back. Everything goes back to normal and looks great. Music library, this really works. Everything works, guys. Megadeth, it's trying to load the album art. And similar to the home screen, you can also change things here also. And everything can be moved. 
You can make this wider if you wanted to. Like I said, just hold it down, make it wider. The reason why I kind of kept everything a little bit more to the right was because of this. Kind of wanted it to clear it, so this was part of my whole theming process, but you can do whatever you want. My next one is my office. So I have my calendar events, and of course if I push here, it'll take me to my calendar. Want to see my weather, and of course part of my office is my cloud storage to Google Drive. So this is uh, something that I like, and remember, you guys can theme it however you want. This is very flexible. My next part is my social. I'm go ahead and refresh this right here. So you guys can see my network activity. This is a really cool widget. It kind of shows you what's going on on all your different uh, oops social networks. A uh, really neat thing about it is, for example, if I push on Twitter here, and I could just push here, it'll actually maximize it. So that's really neat. And I can, of course, go through all of my different messages. So for example, my demo text message, I can see I've been was uh, <laughs> messing around here earlier. So that's really neat. Uh, the other thing is my frequent contacts here that I've added in my social uh, page. Go ahead and go to the next one. This is my gaming. Frequently used games and of course my console emulator. So I only have these pages set up, but as you can see, it is really neat. I'll show you guys this little cool trick. If you swipe really fast this way, look at that. This is a really awesome launcher and it works really good in implementing it sort of like the Ubuntu. You can also do this and jump right away to your uh, designated spot. So anyhow guys, this is just a quick walkthrough that I wanted to show you off my demo. I will be doing a how-to video, so I hope you guys like it. Uh, make sure you guys also subscribe to my Google Plus community. I will be putting a lot of stuff there. If you guys have any questions or you're kind of stuck on something, that's the place where you can reach me at best. This is a community that I started. So make sure you guys uh, follow me there. And if you guys have any questions, uh, again, the community is the best place to, to reach me. I'll leave those links down below. Once again, thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll see you in my next video on the how-to. Adios.